Lesson 10, AC Circuit Analysis Section 10.4, Principle of Superposition A linear circuit obeys the principle of superposition. The principle of superposition states that, the total response of a linear circuit equals the sum of the individual responses. An individual response is obtained by activating only one voltage source or current source, while short-circuiting the rest of the voltage sources and opening the rest of the current sources. This is an example of a linear circuit. Assume that you are required to identify the voltage V3, and the currents I1 and I3, and that you are going to apply the principle of superposition. The first step is to activate the voltage source V1, and deactivate the current source I2 by opening it. Then you obtain V3B, I1B, and I3B. The second step is to short circuit V1 and activate I2. Then you can derive V3C, I1C, and I3C. The final step is to sum up the individual responses with superscripts B and C for each voltage or current. Exercise 10.4.1 Derive V3 by applying the principle of superposition. The answer to exercise 10.4.1 From the top circuit, in which V1 is activated and I2 is opened, V3B is obtained as shown in this equation. From the bottom circuit, in which V1 is short circuit and I2 is activated, V3C is the voltage across Z1 and Z2 connected in parallel. Then V3 is the sum of the individual responses V3B and V3C. Exercise 10.4.2 This is your homework. Pause the video, and write the answers. Show that the effective value V3E equals 2 over square root 2, and the phase shift psi 3 equals negative 53 degrees. Experiment 10.4 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. Record the waveforms of V3, V3B, and V3C, and confirm that V3 equals V3B plus V3C. The answer to experiment 10.4 Construct this circuit, and record the waveforms of V1, V2, and V3. Then short circuit V2 and record V1 and V3B. Then, activate V2, and short circuit V1. Record V2 and V3C. For recording the waveforms, Use the export function of the oscilloscope. First, click the general settings button. Then switch export all on, and click export. You can save a CSV file of the waveforms, V1 and V3 in this case, to your folder. This is an excerpt of a CSV file. The second column from the left is time. The third and fourth columns are the data for channel 1 and channel 2, which are V1 and V3 respectively. Excel is an option to plot the waveforms from the CSV file. This graph shows V1, V3B and V3C. V3B plus V3C is plotted. The graph on the right hand side shows V1, V3B plus V3C and V3. The combined waveform V3B plus V3C matches V3 well. The amplitude V3M was 2.1 volts, and the time shift TS3 between V3 and V1 was 9.0 microseconds. The phase shift of V3 relative to V1 was, psi 3 equals negative 52 degrees. In exercise 10.4.2, the nominal values were, V3M was 2.0 volts, and Psi 3 was negative 53 degrees. 
The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.